To some non-weather news, thousands of jobs and millions of dollars impacting the economy could come from the Ford Blue Oval SK plant in Glendale. WDRB's Dalton Godby talked with U.S. Secretary of Transportation during his visit of the site today. This is part of the EV battery that will be produced at Hardin County's Ford Blue Oval SK plant. The U.S. Secretary of Transportation calling this and the plant a feather in Kentucky's hat. As you grow up getting the message that the only way to prosper is to get out of the community that, that raised you and that shaped you. But not anymore. That's what this is about. Here in Kentucky and at new auto plants around the country. On a day clouded with severe weather in a state of emergency for Kentucky, U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg had boots on the ground in Hardin County. The secretary emphasizing the need for electric vehicle manufacturing on U.S. soil. One of the largest with 5,000 initial employees right here at the Blue Oval SK plant in Glendale. EVs are going to be remembered not as a front in some invented culture war between red and blue America, but as a front in the very real competition between the U.S. and competitors like China for the future of manufacturing. In an exclusive TV interview with WDRB, Secretary Buttigieg said the Federal Inflation Reduction Act includes manufacturing credit for companies to locate at places such as Hardin County. It also creates price supports to make EVs cheaper, but it requires that those be EVs that are made on American soil. It's another way to incentivize. A recent study showed that the plant would have an $800 million economic impact on the region, but it's not clear what the pay scale could be. We asked the Secretary of Transportation, who referred to Ford, but hinted at unionization. We're already seeing a lot of very good paying union construction jobs building this facility. And across the country, we're seeing a lot of good paying union manufacturing jobs too. Production is expected to begin at the Glendale plant in 2025. With photojournalist Emily Evans, Dalton Godby, WDRB News.